it was always in the back of my head that at some point cancer was gonna catch back up. Every game is emotional, solely off that fact that she's not there. I wanna make her proud, and that's my main priority. That is my whole drive behind hoop. Mesa, Arizona. Big time player, great off the dribble. He's got the total package. Timmy Allen started his collegiate career at the University of Utah and transferred to Texas in April 2021, shortly after the hiring of Chris Beard. Before that, he was a son to Elise Allen, growing up in Mesa, Arizona. I was a mama's boy, like I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, so I was always with my mom. She would go on walks every night, I'd be right next to her either on a bike, walking or on a scooter. We just had a lot of quality time growing up. Those were like some of the best times of my life. A lot of nights, just conversations, hugs, cries, all that in between. I was just a baby boy and I fell into that role, but that was exactly what I wanted. So when I was nine, my mom sat my brothers and I down at the dinner table. It was really weird because we hadn't done something like this before. She told us she was diagnosed with breast cancer. As a nine-year-old boy, I knew of what it was, but I didn't know the severity of it. I knew she was a fighter. She's always been a fighter. And that's a conversation I'll never forget. As Elise began her treatments for cancer, Timmy's basketball career began to blossom. In 2014, he leveled up the competition, going from playing at the YMCA to the AAU team Compton Magic. The 400-mile van rides from Arizona to California with coach Ray Arvizu provided Timmy a place to vent. We spend six to eight hours one way to go to California almost every weekend. One of the things that we do in terms of mentorship is help kids understand it's okay to open up and that they're not the only ones going through it. I grew up a lot in that van. There have been a lot of good conversations, a lot of bad conversations, a lot of hard conversations about life, basketball, and everything in between. Ray is someone I've looked up to for mentorship, guidance, someone to lean on. I truthfully don't know where I would be without them in my life. He was in the middle of what was probably the most important recruiting period of his life and you know he's dealing with issues with his mother and I do remember having a conversation with him that wanted to calm him down and just let him know that we we're going to be here and that we we're going to figure this thing out step by step along the way. As the years passed and the miles piled up in the van, back home Elise reached the crossroads with her treatment. After nearly seven years of fighting cancer, the medication was doing more harm than good. She came home one night and she told me that they were going to have to take her off her treatment and her medicine because her body couldn't hold it no more, like she was going to die if they kept doing it. And that was the hardest conversation of my life. It's a moment I'll never forget. In December of 2016, my mom passed. Her process of death was very tough for me because she died in hospice. So you just see the decline of the beautiful woman she once was, just watch this eat her up and that was really hard for me. It's something I'll never forget. I'm just glad I got to be there with her to the end. I was just so sad that she wasn't gonna be able to see me grow and becoming the man who I wanted to be. Elise never got to see her son play college basketball, but years prior to his arrival in Austin, she shared a sign with him. Now it's a memory for Timmy, made more special because he's a Longhorn. My mom she used to always go like this, and I never really knew what it meant. And one day I was like, Mom, what does that mean? And she said it means I love you in sign language. And so that like became my thing. It's very close to the hook'em of Texas. And when I did commit here, I did think of that. And the connection is oddly similar. Allen, free throw line. Timmy Allen has had just a spectacular game. I can't help but think of her in the stands watching me. I always just pound my chest. Think of her, touch one of my tattoos, look up at the sky and just think about her. This is the logo I have for my mom. It's just mom, but with the cancer logo. I have sacrificed what I talked about a lot and what she did for all of us. It's just a way of me representing her and me living through her. And I feel like she lives through me.